Good morning. It's Wednesday, June 8th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Mighty Israel, and our scripture is Numbers, chapter 24. Like a lion, Israel crouches and lies down. Like a lioness, who dares to arouse her? Blessed is everyone who blesses you, O Israel, and cursed is everyone who curses you. As far back as I can remember, my family went to church. A lot. My mom was the Sunday school superintendent and volunteer church secretary, so our life included plenty of church. Whenever our pastor mentioned Israel in a sermon, he called them the children of God. He would also refer to this blessing or cursing of Israel and how we were to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Reflecting on this childhood memory, when it came to the nation of Israel, there was one thing that stood above all else. God's children were loved by God and nobody should mess with them. I didn't understand why, but I knew there was something special about being God's children. Many Sundays after church, we would drive an hour to visit with mom's sister and family. When I was about seven or eight, one week, the Sunday school lesson was on Exodus when God sent Moses to get his children out of bondage. The pastor even preached a sermon on being God's children. During the drive to my aunt and uncle's house, I was deep in thought about what the pastor had said. He talked about the church tent in the wilderness and how God's children were always worshiping, offering sacrifices, praying a lot, and messing up. I guess something about all that church stuff in the wilderness and our life in church all the time, I leaned forward from the back seat and asked mom and dad, loudly over the roar of our 1948 Plymouth's engine, are we Jewish? Even in a car with a broken muffler, windows open and the air rushing by, you could have heard a pin drop for about three seconds. Then my parents began to laugh. They laughed so hard, Dad almost ran off the road. I didn't have a clue what was so funny. Mom, the resident theologian in our tribe, did her best to make the distinction between Old Testament children of God and God's New Testament family. To this day, I'm nothing of an expert on Israel or the politics of the Middle East, but I am a student of God's Word, and the singular characteristic that stands out in my mind is holy. The word means other or special, a prized possession set aside for a unique reason and purpose. They, the descendant family of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, and by the way, Jesus, are a special, loved, and cared for possession of God, treasured like no other. Deuteronomy chapter 32. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. For you today, a sense that the founders of America's Republic had deference to Israel's special place in history and God's heart. I think of late, Jerusalem's apple status has given way to political expediency and military alliances. But the word of God stands strong nonetheless. Curse Israel, and you've awakened the crouching lion. And the lion of Judah will one day remember, like a herd of elephants, all who blessed and all who cursed his loved people. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road with Jesus. Have a blessed day.